This past Saturday marked one year since Los Angeles Fire Department Chief Kristen Crowley became the first female, first LGBTQ and first paramedic to hold the office. The LAFD responds to more than 1,300 calls a day. And emergency calls are up this past year, nearly 10% compared to years in the past. Joining us to talk about what she thinks needs fixing and how uh, first year uh, is going for LAFD Chief Kristen Crowley is the chief she is here welcome good back morning. good to thank see you. you thank you so much for having me i appreciate it well you promised you'd come back and you have so thank you absolutely we just mentioned that emergency calls are up uh, last year the lafd responded to nearly 500,000 incidents that's uh, nearly up 10 percent from averages in the previous years uh, what is happening? Is this the norm? What's going on? Yeah, I tell you, we, we have been paying close attention to the incidents. There has been an uptick. In fact, it's about 12%. Mm. So now it's a, a matter of what strategies can we put in place to ensure that we can meet the needs of the community. With an uptick of close to 12.5%, what does that mean? With the amount of resources that we currently have, that's where now is the time to put together the strategy. And that's what we've been working on the last 10 to 12 months is our strategic plan. Mm. We now have that in place. It's a four-year plan. And we've done a deep dive with our internal stakeholders and external stakeholders within the city to start to create that momentum and that plan so that we can evolve to the needs of the community. And with the increase in, in workload, we need to do can something. Can I just follow up on that? I, I, I talked to folks from my local station once who were rolling on a person who was down in the neighborhood and it turned out that person was intoxicated mm -hmm. and they sort of rolled their eyes as if to say, we have dealt with this person in particular in the past. Mm -hmm. That is a huge resource to to help this particular person. Is that part of the solution to find a way to, to best serve that person? Right, so, and you think about a plan. So 81% of what we do is EMS related, emergency mm -hmm. medical services. So how do we create the right type of resource to respond to the needs of that patient? Mm -hmm. And we've already done that in regard to our nurse practitioner units, in regard to our sober units, in regard to our fast response mm. units. So that is the evolution of the LEFD from our fire trucks and our engines and our ambulances. That's what this next four year plan will give us is how do we now create a resource that will meet the needs of the patients. Mm. Okay, and at the same time, LAFD response times, they've increased citywide. Uh, in January of this year, average response time was more than seven minutes. What's your plan uh, to combat the increase in that right response time. so and again that's with that increase right. and uptick in those overall incidences right. so it's of course adding staffing adding resources and the appropriate resources but also what types of things do we have control over are there areas where we're over dispatching and in that regard then how do we hold certain types of resources back so that they are available to run those calls and then tap down our our resource uh, time that it takes mm. us to get on scene You've asked the, the mayor for additional personnel. What's the response? Right, so we do have a lot of support. We've been working really closely with Mayor Bass and her administration as well as city leadership. And with that, we've actually hired a record amount of new firefighters coming in, 229 as of this past year. We have one class that's currently at 68 and we have another class that we're building for April. So that ask is going to continue, mm -hmm. meaning five new recruit classes. That'll help us fill those seats but also we have a, a record number of people who are retiring. Yeah. So there's a balance there. Once we fill those seats, then that's when we start to implement our new plan in regard to adding those EMS resources and alternate types of destination resources as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, finally, how do you think this first year has gone? How I you tell you, it's been really dynamic, but I wake up every single day inspired. Our firefighters, EMTs, paramedic dispatchers, helicopter pilots, everybody within the organization, they're true professionals, mm. and that's really my job is to ensure that we put together a team that can better support our people, and that's what I'm really excited about. It's this next generation coming up throughout the LEFD, and that's where I know we're going to continue to grow, and in the end, we want to provide exceptional public safety. Well, Chief, we thank you for coming by, and we, Thanks, and we thank the men and women of the department for the work they do for us every day. Thank, thank you, you very much. Appreciate it. And I love waking up inspired, right? What a lesson we yeah. could all learn from Absolutely. that.